everybody, welcome to Shoshi TV. I'm Shoshi and this is my crazy little Shoshi land. This is my first tutorial for eyeshadow and I am doing it as a collaboration with my good friend Charlene. Her channel is 123 Charlene and we have both used the Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette. I'm going to show you how to do this daytime eyeshadow look and she is doing the sexy nighttime look. We both have used completely different parts of the palette so it's going to be a great overview of what you can do with this palette so make sure you check out her video after you've watched this tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I hope you enjoy it. So let's go ahead and start by putting on primer. I've already done that. I've used the Paint Pot by MAC. I believe it's color Bisque or Painterly, I'm not sure. Now we're gonna go ahead and pick up this nice cream peachy color. We're gonna use a Coastal Sense just big fluffy brush to start packing on that color on our eyelids. And it's just gonna create a nice, smooth, crisp base for the look that we're getting ready to create. So go ahead and just pack that on on the eyelids until you have felt you've put enough color on. Now we're just gonna pick up this beautiful sunset orange color on a doe foot applicator brush. I love these brushes. This one's nice and fluffy. It's Coastal Sense, I believe, and it's a great brush to start depositing color in this crease line as you can see that I'm doing here. I just do back and forth in little circular motions to deposit the color into my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that I have this enough color and the depth of the color that I want in that crease. I love this orange. It's a beautiful fall color. It's just warms up your skin, warms up your eyes. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pick up this beautiful plumish color and we're gonna start depositing that into our crease line with a domed brush. Now, this is just gonna start developing depth for our look just because it's a daytime look doesn't mean that you can't start having fun creating some depths and shadows when you are putting together your eyeshadow look that's part of the fun of the makeup so I'm putting it in the crease bringing it down creating sort of that outer V and just putting on as much as I feel is going to suit me for the day now this is a step that you can darken it if you want to pull it into a night look and again I'm doing the same thing on the the other side just creating that sort of V look and just going back in touching it up moving it around putting it where I want double check in and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a real techniques blending brush and we're gonna just go ahead and blend that sucker out cuz nobody likes some harsh lines unless that's your look but in this particular look we're going for a blended soft sultry fall sexy look is what we are attaining today so we're gonna fluff it out blendy 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 after you've blended it to your liking we're just gonna go ahead and pick up this very beautiful dusty rose color we're gonna take that color and put it on a short domed flat brush and we're just going to deposit that underneath our lash line uh, opens up the eyes put some color if you are pale like me it actually reduces some of the paleness now what we're going to do is blend two colors together it's going to be this brown and this purple and we're going to put it on a smaller pointed dome brush and this is where we're going to take it and concentrate putting it on our outer V. I prefer doing this when I'm building the outer V on a small brush like this. I feel like I have a lot more precision in placement and I can always go and blend out later with a different brush. So I just use a little bit of circular motions, a little bit of back and forth windshield wiper motions and deposit it into that outer V. Now I'm going to take a flat Real Techniques brush and we're actually going to start using that 
to blend that outer V out. I like using this particular brush for it because it goes into the crease really well. I happen to have really deep creases, so it allows me to blend and have just a little bit more position, precision, there's the word guys, a little bit more precision when I'm working on a small spot like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the golden color next and it is the one that my pointer finger is showing you. We're going to take that same flat Real Techniques brush and we're going to just put that into the center of our eyelid. I like doing this for day and night. It just lightens it up opens up the eye. This particular color also helps to bring out the gold flecks in my eyes and does make my eyes look a little more green. Grab that doe foot brush. We're going to go ahead and take a cream color and we're just going to blend out that top just a little bit more. Grab that sunset orange with the same doe foot brush and what we're going to do is start warming up that look. Just putting it up on the top slightly, lightly, lightly, not with a heavy pigment and blend it out. Now we're going to take a small sort of pencil -y dome brush and we're just going to clean up any of those little areas on our eyelids just to brighten them up. Now we're going to take an angled eyeliner brush with the color Tattoo by Maybelline and it's a gold color that I like to use as a eyeliner base. Again, it really brings out those gold flecks but because it is a cream, when you're using eyeshadow, we're going to pull up that purple color and use that as your actual liner even though it's a shadow. So that color tattoo is going to help make this beautiful dark brown plum color stick and I just sort of push it into my lash line. This can be used wet or dry and then I'm going to go ahead and pull it down into my lower lashes just ever so slightly to bring some continuity to this particular look. Now we're going to go ahead and use the tight line, same brush. I'm using a black. I always use a darker kind of color underneath in the tight line because remember it's not a light colored area. Use the tart uh, eye curling brush or curler, the eye curler, and then I pull it up like that. Just helps set and gets a better curl. We're going to use the Revlon Bold Lacquer. If any of you have had any problems with this, the trick that I have found to stop clumping is when you pull it out of the tube, grab a tissue, wipe it off. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but this will minimize the clumping and allow you to put multiple coats of this mascara on and that has been the trick and I love this mascara now and I do it between every coat. What we're going to do is grab a eyelash comb and just use a metal comb to just spread it out. I think it makes a thicker look and here is the final look. Put some lipstick on and these will all be in the drop down bar. So I hope that you enjoyed my first tutorial and a collaboration with my friend Charlene on her channel is 123 Charlene. She has a beautiful, stunning nighttime look using the exact same palette, different colors entirely, so it's really a full use of the palette. Both of the looks actually could be, hers could be lightened for day, mine can be darkened for night, so we are giving you multiple options. Definitely check out her channel. Again, it's 123 Charlene. Thank you so much for stopping by Shoshi TV in my crazy little Shoshi land. I will see you next time. Bye.